This is the fourth video in our series showing you how to use the CDC Excel tool for thematic analysis. This video will show you how to code your data in the coding workspace and the various ways you might want to apply codes to that data. For example purposes, we will be using the pre-built epidemic coding scheme. To do that, we'll need to open up the epidemic coding scheme from the select coding scheme page and then go to the coding workspace. For this example, I'm going to scroll down to some to the vaccination post that starts on line 37. As you can see, we have some data here that has not been coded yet. So the first thing to do while coding is decide how much of each sentence in the text sentences column you want to code. The simplest segment to code is to apply a single code to an entire sentence. So for this sentence, we will choose a broad code and then a specific code. First, you're going to copy the entire sentence from the text sentence column into the text segments for coding column. We can then add codes by clicking into the broad code column and clicking this drop down menu. From here, you can see all of the broad code areas from the epidemic coding scheme are available to you. An important note about this first coding scheme is that the code options available to you in the specific code column are dependent on what is chosen in the broad code column. So for example, if we were to choose about the disease in the broad code, when we go to the specific codes, the options available to you include things like the reality of the disease, the lethality or severity of the disease, and the origin of the disease. However, if we go back and change the broad code to something like about government-led control efforts, the options under the specific code have now changed. So for this particular code, um, after reading through the text here, um, we will talk, we will change this to about people dealing with the epidemic and people reporting challenges in protecting themselves or others. And then we'll move on to the next text segment. So another option, rather than just adding a single code to a sentence, is that you may want to break up the sentence into more than one part. In order to code parts of the sentence, you'll need to add additional rows to this table. So for this example, we're going to apply one code to the first half of the sentence and a different code to the second half of the sentence. So first, we want to click into the text seg segment itself and copy the text that we want to apply the first code to. In this case, we're going to just select disease X does not exist. We'll copy that from the text seg sentences column into the text segments for coding column. And we do this so that we can retain the full context of the sentence in the text sentences column um, while deciding to apply a code to only one part of the sentence. So then we're going to go in again and choose the relevant codes for the, for the broad code and the specific code. In this case, we'll choose about the disease and the reality of the disease versus a hoax. Another coding scheme that we may want to apply is this action flags coding scheme. So this is a single level coding scheme, meaning that all of the codes will be available to you in this uh, action flags column. So in this case, reading through this disease X does not exist, we may want to flag this as possible misinformation or false information and notify communications. I should also note at this point that there is a column for comments, which is a free text column in which you can put any information that you want. So any thoughts you may have um, about the coding that you're doing um, or any questions that this may raise for you. So now we can go back and we see we've applied a code to the very first half of the sentence, but we also want to apply a code to the second half of the sentence. So to do this, we're just going to insert a new row. And we want to make sure to copy over all of this information, starting with the file ID, and copy that down. And now we'll copy the second half of the sentence 
into the tech segments for coding column and select the codes for this one. So in this case, we would pick about government-led control efforts and potentially using epidemic for political gain. So now you've applied two codes to multiple parts of the sentence. So another option instead of, instead of splitting the sentence would be actually to apply two codes to the entire sentence. And this procedure is very similar to what we just did. First, we'll copy the entire sentence into the text segments for coding. We'll select our first code, in this case, about people dealing with the epidemic and challenges in protecting self or others. And then we'll insert a new row, copy all of that information over from the file ID, and then select the code that we want to apply. In this case, about government-led control efforts and something about demand for vaccination. So once you feel comfortable using the coding scheme in this coding workspace, you can move on to looking at the results of the codes in pivot tables and pivot charts. And we'll cover how to do this in our next video.